No. Okay. Let's have a short session. See how it goes. Um, what I'm trying to do today is I want to finish the well finish. Let's see if I can do that. So currently for testing there's only one battery here. When I pick up the battery, there's a spawn on a new entity and we get the exit. So let's make that exit work. Hmm. So the plan is basically hmm. so have I have some mistake here. And I currently have one flag to this exit that will tell me if the entity has been spawned already the exit here. And because I didn't know what to do, I, I was thinking maybe I can place I can place the exit in a fixed speed place um, in the map. And so the exit always appears in the same place, but yeah, I'm not sure if I like that. And also, it's kind of tricky with the entity system I have here. So I thought, well, what if... What if... Um, what if I try... So, when we collect the battery, we touch the battery, we create an action that is action add battery, and in entities, yeah, process actions. So, in entities, here we have add battery which is updating the state so I know what is the last battery that it was created right so going back to the game in here I mean it's not been so long since I touched this but yeah yeah update the state in the game loop So basically, mm. yeah, is the number of batteries I have collected is equal to the batteries on the level, and I use the exit as flag, and there's no exit, then what I do is I spawn an entity that has the exit, and the exit is true. So I guess. What I can do is okay. So first of all, um, I think let's take a look at the pickup. So the pickup basically player collision. Ah, oh, we have everything here already. So when we create the exit, um, we have the, the player collision function here. I'm not using it, so I guess we can use it, which is here. So let's call it touch player, and I think maybe I need to change it now. because I need to run the function, right? So I guess 
we can do the same thing here. So we touch the player, we pass the entity as out there, and then now we look at the entity. But then the cards we're using here, we can use them. So we can just have one shot here. That is going to be entity. Edgar's entity. Okay, so. Complain about this collision entity entity. Actually, pretty much expect to entity with an actual type IO entity. Oh, because I need to change this now. Okay, so we don't need to do PR here because, yeah, that is still IO here. Alright, okay, so that's better. And I guess. Do the same thing here. If it's been touched, then we destroy the door for now. And let's leave it like that for now. We don't need to add any actions. I will think about the action later. So otherwise update and we don't need the entity because we have it already right only because we're entity and because we're using pure yeah that should be okay okay so if i try this but it's not right that's not right I need to change it, I need to change it, I need to change it, but for now, oopsie, so if I touch, yeah, we don't see anything because obviously when we, yeah, we're on top of it, so this has to be different because, so we're using frame 7 is the frame that loops, Okay, so let's remove the magic number, shall we? Instead of being seven here. when it loops the frame this goes and instead of starting from zero when we get to the end we start from the frame that's fully open which is so I have it here yes okay so zero one two three four five seven zero one two three four huh three four five why is that Why was seven? Okay, so this is a sprite ship, sprit ship, ship, ship. So, uh, oh wow, okay. Because I'm making some of them longer. Zero, one, two, three, four. Yeah, this one. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. That explains it. Cool. So it's seven. Um, 
So what we want to do here is touch player. We can say if a frame is less than fully open, then false otherwise. See, and then we ask. Okay, so. <laughs> Because we don't need that. Yeah, it's redundant. So I think what it's going to suggest is this. It's going to suggest. This, right? Huh? Can you change anything? Wait a minute. Oh, because I chose the wrong one. Yeah, okay, close enough. Cool. Uh, no, it's not working. It's not easy. It has to be more like this, and then it's not going to suggest that. Can we do this differently? Mm -mm -mm. Can we do this differently? Because touch player, this returns, well, it's the type is collision, and collision is is IO right? No, it's a type. So collision, yeah, is for entity to IO volume. So that means that hmm. can I do this differently hmm. like we can use it okay we could be using this so this then what's going on why are you happy couldn't match expect entity type oh right Like this. No, we don't need to. Okay, no. No, because we need to return the. We need to run the update anyway. So I'm going to leave it like this. Though this if here is kind of awful. Hmm. Okay, so if this is correct, which is not, it has to be, oh no, it's correct, if it's less than, yeah, cool. So, now if we touch it, we can still see it open, and then we touch it, we call the destroy here. Cool. So we call destroy. What else do we need to do? I guess we need an action. Action exit. Action exit learn. It really doesn't matter. I mean, what are you going to do if it's not exit level? So destroy is true. And actions is going to be we're going to add an action which is action exit level then in entities 
is complain about this because now it's not exhaustive because we added a new action. So we are new one action exit level exit level and what we're going to do with action exit level is uh, we're going to keep processing actions we're going to pay the state to be we're going to take the states here. So we're going to say that it's going to be true. And then we keep the entities as they are and we process the pay because we process the current action and we need to process the pay. Is kind of broken now because we added something to the state. So, in the initial state here, yes, yeah, complain about that. So, level completed. I don't know what it does that. Why, why is it doing that? There's something funny. Level completed. There's something funny with uh, the Haskell language server. I don't know why it's suggesting that. To be honest. But I need to investigate. Maybe it could be a bug or something funny. Mm. I have seen it a couple of times and I don't know why it's saying that. Cool. So, do, 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 do. so that will destroy the the entity will dead the state. Uh, so the entities, yeah. The, so we create an action. We process the action in the entities, and that will test the state. And here, will dead the state contest etc. Hmm. We can just do something here, right? That's what it is. So state. So it state level. Com See, it's doing again the same thing. So if I do, for example, something else. It's doing the same. I don't want it to complete to that. Is this been like this all the time? No, I don't think it has been like that. It could be because I have upgraded recently. Something, something is different. <laughs> I think I updated the uh, Haskell language server, something like that. Something is different. Anyway, so if the state level is completed, then we can do something here. We can, for example, let's say, it's just level complete. Um, no, it doesn't like it, so. No, wait a minute. 
Uh, okay, no, because... And then... IOM. So, we need to click on the environment. Okay, so basically what I'm doing with this, this is a map, right? Uh, yeah, this is doing what I want. What I want. Really. Would it be better like this? Yeah, and then it's going to tell me why you don't do apply hint, use this. Why? No, I don't want to do that. So what is the difference? Might be confused with the scala here. So so this is giving me IOM IOM. Hmm. I don't know what is the difference. Okay. Um, sequence actions discarding the value of the first argument. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I mean, I could be writing this differently. I could be doing like this. Then void that. And then return pure. So I can do this. Or I can do this. But why is suggesting me to use this sort of thing? What is the difference? No. Not in a scope. Data functor. Thing that is kind of funny. So okay. let's import that. What is this doing? No, oh, that's very helpful. It's the flip version of mm, that this other operator here. <laughs> Place the contents of nothing. Oh, because this returns. This is re is returning unit, right? Um, so we're going to action is the value of the ah, so yeah, I got confused with the scala. So in the scala this is a slightly different, but yeah, this is what I want. Sequentially composed to actions, discarding any value produced by the first by sequencing operators such as the semicolon. So this is the same as you know the 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 other way we were writing it with with do. So cool. Okay. So now should be able to touch the door and All right. Yeah, level complete. See, printing here. Cool. So this is wired properly. Um. So what do I need to do now? I probably need to change this because. So we need more than one map, right? So in data, so we have map, let's call it map one, and copy it into map two, and, um, and let's go back to here. working on at the moment so where are you a scale game data map two 
which is the same as the map one, but you know, we can just because we're testing, so we got the entities, we got the player, and we're going to move it somewhere else. here for example right okay so mm, so in the state okay so what what do I do when I when the player is dead environment in the state map no, wait a minute. That's in game over, right? So, so we have to play loop, a game over loop here. So, so basically, okay, you can open the map because it's map one now. Okay, let's do. Uh, A hugly, a hugly thing, right? Um, so, map one, map two. Oh, now. And here. Uh, all right. Okay, so. Now let's see like this. Okay, so the map we're going to use uh, maps. So help help maps. Hmm. Shall we do it like this? Or should I have an index? Okay, so what I want to do basically is so here in the game over okay so I was going to show it but then we had to change that so right okay so let's do some analyze so that goes to the game over and I press a key and we go back here. Press the set key. So, which is the bottom A in the abstraction of the controller, right? So, we're gonna try the last level, which is whatever it is in map. And this map comes from the from E map, and E is the environment. So basically, Oh, it's going to be easier than expected because basically the only thing we need to do is replace the map here and then do the same thing that we do here which is in the state passing the new map wait a minute Oh no, it's a state. All right, okay. Why? What I am passing the map? Oh, because I need to know what is the to the number, the total number of, of batteries. Okay, we can use we can use in state, in the other state. So because it has to be more like we need to keep the number of lives, right? I'm going to restore the number of lives. So. Let's call it um, yeah, like next level state. I guess so. We pass the map. So I don't realize we don't touch, touch that, but this has to be zero. That's not correct then. We need the map and we need the all the state. So 
let's call it S. Uh, so we say S, and then we change the things that we need to change. Uh, is that right? Or let's complain about. Oh, because uh, we need to say the game state. So total values is fine. Uh, we don't need to change this. We don't need to change this. Uh, yeah, I think we need to change the hit delay so you start being immune. Obviously, the game over delay can be set because if we dead, we can't complete the level. But all right, so exit is false. The last battery, yeah, and level completed, obviously we haven't. Okay, so that will set up the state for the next level. And we also need to load the next map. So that's what I was thinking, perhaps. We could be keeping in the state. What is the map number? right so we can say current map so current map is going to be zero here This is when I'm not completely sure. <clears throat> this doesn't make a lot of sense doing it like this. I think the, the, the unit state has to set up the map. can do it like this. Because... Okay. What if... We say... Initial state and it returns the state and the map. Here we use state and the map. And now this has to go into the map here. Can we do that? Oh, maybe we can. Because I don't use the texture for anything. Do I? No, I don't think I do. Okay, so in the state now, it's going to return the state and, and the map. And it's going to load the texture and create the map. So we don't need the map here. If we go back, we don't need the map. Obviously. So this is going to be the state and the map. And it doesn't need parameter. And it needs to render render to get the texture okay no this is not correct we need to use the texture 
All right, all right, okay. So, in order to create the map, we need the texture. And I want to do this because when it's a game over, no, because it going to load it. Okay, I'm making a mess right now. So, let's go back to where we were. Yeah, because it's the same map. So this is okay. We don't need to change this. Alright, and this is missing. Uh, we added something. We added. No, it's already like that. Why is it complaining now? Oh. Because of the map. What do we call that? Map... No, for the map. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Current map is zero. That's not true. if we do this, we need to pass the state. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, the problem with this is that at the moment, when we call uh, in 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 the initial state, we pass the map, and the nice thing here is that you call initial state and you just pass the map. So having the current map on the state is probably not a good idea, and we are not going to do it because it's a bad idea. It's a terrible idea because the current map. It's not part of the state, it's part of the environment. So, because we had the map here, right? You, we just need to know which is the next one. Hmm. So we know this has to be the first map, right? Has to be the first one. And that in the texture is not safe anywhere in the environment. So we'll have to load the tile set again when we load the map. So that's bad. We don't want that, so 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 so. so. How did I call that? I call it TS texture. She's an SEO texture and. <clears throat>
Amen. I mean, we could be just including the environment and then now, but I think because in the game over, it's gonna leave a try, but you know, that's a placeholder. It should be able, it should be able to start from the beginning. see how it looks and then and then if it works I can change it to look nice all right so in here send a copy of we, got, we need to set set a copy of the environment so map current map no that's not true we need to load the map, right? So, uh, I don't remember. So, so let's take a look, guys. I don't remember how the fuck is. I don't remember the parameters and everything at all. So, we can copy this. So instead of head maps, we're going to do maps and then it's going to be the environment. That's one. Really current map? Yeah, current map. Yeah, it's complaining about that, but okay, because we need to get this from the environment as well. And then we know we're going to return a copy of the environment, right? Yeah, okay, let's have it on that. So now the map is going to be the new map. Then current map, okay, let's do it in order, but just because it's nicer. Current map is going to be current uh, map plus one and the new other map. What is complaining about this? Oh, all right. So. With this, we always keep forward, going forward. There are only two maps, so this will crash when we get to the third. But for now, it's fine. So this is kind of okay, but it's not because what we also need to do is something. Jeez. Reset the, rest of the, the state, right? So 
so I believe what we do when we get the game over is this. All right. This this is not correct because this is what we're going to do. Oh, the entities and the entities come from the environment as well. And this is not right. Let's make it look like this. This is not right because these entities that we have in the game over. We need to make the entities. We need to create the entities. So we need we need to get the entities from the map. So we got the map. Then we got the entities. Which is here what we're going to use. And, and this is sprites coming from the environment. So again, environment and sprites. And I believe environment controls. Uh, which is kind of looks okay. The only thing I've been doing is. Yeah, to make it nicer, I've been using local variables, but. Hmm. For now, we can do it like this. So, basically, the level is complete. So, we load the next map. We. Process the entities of the map and we make a copy on the environment. What we call init state. Um, it's, it can be in the state because it can be initial state because we don't want to reset the the number of lives, right, that we have. So let's call it next state. Next map state. So, and we need the state. Let's call it this. So, Game. Sorry, it's getting the state. So we don't have batteries. The total batteries comes on the map. Um, we don't have a light, but total lives. Speed delay, we said that is probably a good idea. So we start in vulnerable. The game of the delay. And that. And in this case here, this is kind of wrong. It's not wrong, but we don't need to do it because in the context of the constructor, you don't need to provide the cool. So this should be the state we need to use here, which is next, next map state and we need to pass the state so the environment state and the new map and i believe this should be done i mean it's going to be rough i mean we still need to i need to do some sort of effect or something but it's going to look enough for now so we get that we touch it and we go to the next level Yeah. Well, it looks like it works, and then it crashes. Exactly. Index to large. Cool, 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 cool. Mm -mm -mm. Can we do here? Okay, no, I think it's fine. I mean, perhaps. I mean, it's a little bit out of scope at the moment, but um, in the heart, for example, we could be rendering the 
the map maybe maybe we could do that um so do we do it I don't know. I don't know how this works anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I guess we need to pass the bitmap font. So the bitmap font is in the in the environment, and da, 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 da. it means that when we render the hood. So we pass in the state. Which I guess. It's okay. Nah. We need to pass the font as well. So uh, here as well. Put font. Okay, so ba -ba -ba -bum. game bitmap font SPM and now the render needs here the bitmap font we call it font. And now we can render here. We can say uh, remote font uh, render text, and I don't remember how this works. So we pass. We pass the render. I guess it's X and Y and text. So X could be, for example, 140 and Y can be, by the looks of it, is going to be 4 and the text is going to be stage. like this stage and show stay core and level it was right no it was in the environment oh dear suggest that perhaps the current map should be on the state Ready to complain about. So, could I might expect to type type IO with current type? What? So, render add with my font, of course. Okay, and now it complains about. Yeah. I mean, doesn't know what to do with this one. And besides, it's not going to be like this. It's going to be current map plus one because it's zero base, right? And perhaps we can do that. Is or maybe we can do it like this. And 
And it's complaining about... Yeah, because the state doesn't have it. Okay, so... Let's change the environment again. And the current map is going to go into the state. See how it looks. So... And we're going to, uh, we're going to call it current level instead of current map. So... Up, 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 up. So I think this is okay. Not anymore. And in in need state. Initial state. Okay. This is what I don't like really. Oh, 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 I know what we're going to do. Okay. So first, next. Spread level state. Spread up. Next level state. So the initial state says current level zero. And I guess we can... <laughs> I don't know. Well, I know how to fix it, but I don't like it for now. Okay, let's keep going. So, initial state, level state. Uh, so, initial state, level state. So initial state is definitely the initial state because it starts with the first level. So we can't really use this to retry, but we can use level state by setting other things. Okay, so let's move on. Do, 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 do. So that is gone now. Mm. So the current map is something that we're going to do in here. So. We can do level state and then dynamic state current level is going to be it's going to be it's going to be it's going to be okay something like this. Is that right? No, it doesn't like it. Um, why not? Not in scope. Ah, because it's the case. Okay. Wrong that one. And I guess it doesn't like this because it doesn't know that I want to play on the report. Oh, okay, fine. Okay, so that fixes the state. Now, in the hard renderer, okay, we need the font. Jeez, a little font. Just because it's nice. We don't really need that. And... Yeah, font and state. Now, this is not like this anymore, because this is going to be the state current level. And, and again, okay, it's current level plus one. Cool, 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 cool. And we know, okay, so now, when I'm calling it the state, initial state, here is fine. Okay, 
So but here is not fine. So this is retry last level. So in order to retry last level. Can be in the state, right? It has to be okay, it has to be level state. Uh, and it has existing state, and the only difference is that we need to say uh, we need to set the, the lives and what else because it raises everything that's the only difference right One thing I was I was discussing with my son that is helping me a little bit with the level design is that when we continue, it will be interesting to start with the number of lives that you got to that stage. That would be nice, um, maybe. Anyway, so okay, so that was one case, and that's the only place when we use any state now. Okay, cool. So let's see how many things are broken now. Okay, 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 okay. So the hood is wrong. Why? Ambiguous variable. Okay, 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 okay. No? Do you like it? Ambiguous variable. I says it for a show. Prevents the constraint show for being sold. Type annotation tell me what is this? I mean current because it's not current max, current level to start with. Okay, fine. And do I really need to do that? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Because okay, so a few things I have changed and I could have broken a lot of things. So so let's just start with the did it put the stage one? Perfectly centered by accident. Cool. So it's the same stage, but we have all the lives. So if I get. Yeah, let's get to the fight. Actually, it doesn't look too bad, even without any effect, right? No, but we want to do it properly. I mean, it has to have some sort of uh, effect, like if he's a teleporter or something. Cool, 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 cool. This is looking good, I think. So let's take a look. Not this one. Okay, so this is not really how it should be. I think we probably need we probably need some entity to manage the maps and so I can load from a JSON file the list of maps or something like that. Maybe. Okay, so um, I don't know. Uh, what 
Uh, maybe it's just. I mean, like the spray sheet is, is the the spray spray sheet. Uh, grabs the sprites. Maybe we should be grabbing this. I don't know. Could be a good idea. So now we need the texture in the environment or the tile set because we're going to reuse it because we're going to reload the map. Um, 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 um. Okay, that's okay. Level completed, current level. In initial state, okay, fine. So level state is the same, but with other lives. I don't know if we can make that difference. I mean, the only difference is... Okay, this looks awful. Let's see what we can do about it. So, initial state. Yeah, the initial is, is fine. I mean, we don't have a state, so... Because I was thinking, maybe, what is the difference between these two, right? Because this one says the current level and the total lives. And this one does, eh, let's put an eye. Let's leave it like that. Then, now we love the first map. At the beginning of the game, makes sense. Perhaps, I could have an option in the CLI or something to select which one. We're going to start maybe then the texture now goes into the environment makes sense if the level is being completed then we load the next map and we we spawn the entities or process the entities i don't know how to call this but uh, what did i call it i call it information available nice Ooh. What's going on? Does it know how to get there? That's weird. Make entities. Yeah, I mean, this is just. He gets the stuff on the map and, and spawns the entities. Whatever. Um. Okay, we need the phone here. Now the hut needs the phone. Do. So we need to put hey it's not navigating to something is happening i'm trying to navigate and it's not doing it why not Ooh. okay why not what happened Oh, it's working now. Hmm. Okay, maybe it did crash and I didn't see it. Cool. So this one is the point now. I mean, really, really, the font is never going to change, right? So. Pass the font like this. No, because then it has to be like this. Is it worth it? Probably not. It's probably clear if we do this. It's going to change anything. No, because then we need to. 
good to read at least anyway, so... Yeah, okay, slightly better. So now we have the font as title hook because otherwise we can't render. So we don't need to pass the font here anymore. And we don't need to pass the font. Ooh. Yeah. We don't need to pass the font in there. We don't need the font here anymore. And now when we create the hood, we pass the font. Did I break it? No, I didn't. Cool. I mean, I probably need to format. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know how to do that. I need to format the string when I print because it's going to be more than one digit for the stage, right? So it doesn't look ugly. Um, cool. So what I was, uh, we were reviewing the No, this one. This, this one. All right. Okay. So, where we were reviewing the code, we changed. Okay. So yeah, we look at that. Then now uh, we have to use level state because we keep the state when we retry. Exit level, the only thing it does. Is it changes the state. It's a little complicated. Is it worth it here to, to increase the level? Is it worth it to do it there? Instead of doing it here. Interesting. It's not a bad idea because level completed is. See, I'm doing that thing again. Hey, that. Level completed is not completed by as, as one. Why is complaining? Duplicate here and there. Oh no, because it's not level completed. It is. What it was? It was. We're looking at. Talking about. Uh, current level. <laughs> Okay, so that increases the current level, which has the benefit that in here, oh, in here, we just need to use current level. And in here, we use only current level. So we don't need to change anything. It's so level state. Is that right? Is that right? Oh no 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 no! This this has a problem. Yeah, because now it's kind of okay. Uh, Okay, let's go back. Okay. No, here. This was okay. Uh, it was in the action. In the action here. We can do this. 
because at the moment it's fine because we don't have any so if I if I increase so I can change the current level state until we're ready ready to start the next level and if this action is going to trigger if I'm going to trigger uh, some sort of animation or something we'll see I need to revisit that but if there is any sort of animation or or effect to leave the stage I don't want the hood to start showing the next stage number before that so we need to change that when we leave the state the stage not before so I'm not completely sure we can do that change here then do, 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 do. yeah okay so and this is just a code that we update uh, when we exit the stage with a new action and the hot now includes the font so we can render text and this is the changes to state this looks okay so get this we get this get this and do i need to add something to the to do uh, okay there were the stages we doing this well it's going to be need end stage animation right And we will need an end of stage green. Yeah, okay. And the, um, the hot stage number needs. Okay, so I don't forget about those things. And this is. So need to uh, okay so okay so this goes together as well so it is animation and it needs Stage complete. All right. So, what was the other thing I was thinking about? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, map list. Maybe. Uh, Open this one, maybe. All right. So I think this is. Excellent. All right, that's it. Um, what if I delete the branch now that I'm thinking about that remotely? Um, because Is that branch going to stay here forever? I don't know how to do it. Okay, so... Uh, 
um, deliverance. Okay, so how do I delete a remote branch? Um, Yeah, delete branch. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Delete the branch. Current branch is super rare. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Delete force. Um, so it's remote branch. It has to be something silly, right? Or it's something completely counterintuitive, right? Like. something completely weird okay hmm what is broom? Remove remote branches that don't have a local counter file. For example, remote branch system will be removed from a local branch. All with the same name doesn't exist anymore. This is also respects respects. For example, git push prone remote. Going to end to the Stark Overflow question that we always get. Kid Branch. Oh man, seriously? That was easy. Uh, how is it called? It was called Exit the Stage. You kidding me? Yeah, it's called Origin. What? Yeah, so I'm 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 kind of being silly because <laughs> I'm trying the thing that this guy tried and it didn't work. Excellent. Okay, the little logger. Yeah, the little remote branch. Push remote name. Oh, yeah, that's the kind of thing. Yeah, push remote name. I knew it was something like that. Push remote name and then. Okay, push origin. Why? I don't know. Those little things. Okay, cool. And. Excellent! Finally, I got this done. It's probably not so much matters, doesn't matter. Okay, so okay, so we can get to the exit. And if I get killed, which is something I didn't test. Those are the dice. Game over. Set to retry. And we'll try on the stage there. Cool. Any crashes, of course. 
Yeah, of course it's because there's only two stages and we try to go to the third one. It doesn't exist yet. Cool. There's still things I need to look at, but for now, I think this is looking okay. I mean, the to-do list has grown a little bit today, but there are not that many things really to have a full functional game, so yeah, it's going okay. Well, I think that's going to be all for today. Um, bye now.